Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy. Today Tricky is preparing these delicious tuna buns. Canned tuna in itself is very versatile. It can be eaten right out of the can or it can be used to prepare a tuna mayonnaise sandwich or a tuna salad or even a tuna pasta bake. In this recipe, Tricky will use it to prepare a delicious filling for these beautifully decorated buns. So let's get straight to the ingredients. There are two sets. The ingredients for the dough and the ingredients for the tuna filling. The method. We are on stage one preparing the dough. So add in the listed ingredients for the dough to the mixing bowl of a stand mixer. That's the salt, white bread flour, large egg, sugar and yeast. Now add in the water a little at a time as required. Knead with the dough hook of the stand mixer. Add in the remaining water as required. Remember, we want the dough to be soft and sticky. Add in the butter and continue to knead for 6 to 8 minutes. As you can notice now, the kneading is done when the dough leaves the side of the mixing bowl. Check that the dough passes the window pane test, that is the dough should be able to stretch into a thin membrane without tearing. Then grease with oil and set aside in a warm place until it almost triples in size, this will take one hour. You can place the dough in the warm oven with the light left on, make sure the oven is switched off. So that was the first proving. We are now moving on to the second stage that is preparing the filling. So add in all the ingredients for the tuna filling to a mixing bowl. That's the drained tuna, the onion, the chopped chilies, green coriander, mayonnaise, roasted common seed powder, pepper powder and the salt. Mix well to combine and set aside to use as the tuna filling later. We are now moving on to the next stage of preparing the buns. When the dough has proved and tripled in size, tip it onto a flat surface. Handle it gently and weigh it. We can see that the weight is approximately 560 grams. So knowing the weight, divide the dough into 6 equal portions of 70 grams each and another 6 portions of 23 grams each. So we will have six larger portions of dough and six smaller portions of dough. Gently shape the divided dough into round balls and set aside to rest for five to ten minutes. You'll notice some of the dough balls are missing. That's because Tricky's daughter is helping her alongside. Now roughly divide the tuna filling into six portions and roll a dough ball into a circle. Spoon in a portion of the tuna mixture. Bring the edges together and pinch firmly to seal and set aside. Similarly, fill in the remaining dough balls with the tuna filling. Then pull the edges together and shape and set aside. Now with the smaller portion of dough, roll it out into a small circle. Create a pattern and place over the tuna filled buns. You can use your creativity to create any pattern of your choice. Arrange the buns on a baking tray lined with greaseproof or parchment paper and set aside in a warm place for 40 minutes to prove or until it doubles in size. Now this is the second proofing so you can place the dough in a warm oven with the light left on. Just make sure the oven is switched off. So while the dough is proving you can preheat the oven to the temperature shown when you are ready to bake. 
So after the second proving is done, brush the tops of the buns with egg wash. You can make the egg wash by mixing one egg and one tablespoon of milk or water. Sprinkle some sesame seeds on the tops of the newly formed tuna filled buns and bake in a preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. Halfway through the baking process, you can rotate the tray by 180 degrees for even baking. That's an optional step. Then remove from the oven when done and brush the tops of the hot buns with butter. And there you have it, delicious tuna buns that taste so good, the whole family will love it. So thank you for stopping by, do hope you will give this recipe a try. Have lots of fun in the process as you toy and most of all, don't forget to enjoy. Tricky's Kitchen has lots of other bread recipes that you would like to try out. So be sure to click on the video link on your screen right now and watch another video.